The Tropicana Hotel in Las Vegas holds the history as one of the city's iconic landmarks. Established in 1957, actually April 1957, over the decades, the Tropicana underwent several expansions and renovations adapting to the changing landscape of the entertainment capital. In the 60s, it gained fame as the hotel that hosted Elvis Presley's first Las Vegas performance. The Tropicana continues to be the hub for renowned entertainers featuring Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. during the Rat Pack era. Hi, it's Leanne. I just wanted to let you know that here I am at Tropicana. Very sad to say that Tropicana's last day is April 2nd. Um, they are closing down for the baseball team that's coming in town. So they will be doing some demolishing and imploding. Who knows? We'll see. We'll find out what's going to happen. But it's very sad to say that here we are and Tropicana is going to be closing down. So we're entering... The Tropicana. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, the Tropicana is going away. It will be demolished. Let me take the escalator. So Tropicana has been open, what, 1957? And I'll take you inside, show you everything that's going on. I think they just remodeled it too, sorta. Or it doesn't look that great, but <laughs> maybe they didn't remodel it. But this is our good old Tropicana. I remember swimming. So this was this was always my favorite part was the waterfall. You can pretty much swim under the waterfall. But I love the pool at the Tropicana. But it will be gone April. As the years progressed, the Tropicana evolved, blending in its classical charm with modern amenities. In 2009, a major renovation, revitalization of the property introduced a fresh contemporary look. The Tropicana's 4,000 square foot stained glass ceiling was installed in 1979 and at this time estimated worth $1 million. Subscribe for everything Vegas.